much. Hi, this is Sabariyaz with an amazing glamorous makeup look for you. For priming my face, I'm using Elf Poreless Petal Primer. It contains squalene that makes my skin hydrated during winter. It's always good to use hydrating primer for mature skin as well. Always start your eye makeup with eye primer or eye base. I'm using Luscious Cosmetics Angel Eye Primer. Today I am blending it with brush. It is a small brush with tight bristles made to blend cream, liquid and waxy products. It's done blending. Now I am setting it with some loose setting powder. Time for brows. First I am combing my brow hairs down with a spoolie brush. Then making an outline with the black eyeshadow. Similarly for the lower side I am combing the brow hair upward. And drawing an outline with the black eyeshadow. Filling in the sparse areas. Keep blending till no harsh lines left. Cleaning upper and lower brow area with concealer to make it look more defined. Blending it with the same brush that I used for the eye base. This beautiful palette is from Focolor named Sunrise Impressionism 16 Pan Eyeshadow Palette. Beautiful shades for soft neutral makeup look. I pick up the color Tenderly Light. Beautiful mauve pink. Matte eyeshadow. You see, I am picking up the shadow and blending it on the black eye over my cheek. Blending is crucial for any eye look. Now depositing shade Punch Pink at the outer corner, which is darker shade from the previous palette. Now time to cut the crease using Angel Eye Primer again. I am using flat concealer brush. There is always a specific application brush for every makeup look. Now applying glittery shimmery shade pinwheel on the crease that we cut earlier. Then pushing with finger to give it intensity. Now using highlighter on the inner corner of the petal to make eyes pop. Applying on the brow bone side. Now tight lining my upper waterline with Maybelline Decolosal Kajal. Always use soft pencil for this purpose. This is Georgia Armani Eyes to Fill Pro Liner. Although it is a liquid eyeliner but its application brush is somewhat similar to eyeliner pen. It's jet black waterproof eyeliner and easy to apply. I am creating a small wing at the outer corner just to lift the whole eye look. This is like my iconic white eye pencil. I am only applying on the outer half of the lower waterline. This technique widens the eyes. Applying shade punch pink with the flat shader brush. This is Makeup Revolution's Ultra Base Corrector Palette. It has all the basic color correction shades and one cream highlighter. I pick up the peach shade. Because it's a waxy product, I am applying it with finger to melt it a bit. Applying where I need it. I am using L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow 24 hour foundation here. I am mixing two shades here, 205 and 203. Hydrating formula perfect for dry skin and gives off radiant finish. It's medium coverage and easy. Suitable for dry and mature skin. I am applying with flat top foundation brush. You can use beauty blender too. By the way, the bristles of the brush helps to conceal the large pores and fine lines. To make it last longer, I am applying Urban Decay All Nighter, setting a spray over it. And dabbing it with damn beauty blender. This is Makeup Revolution's Ultra Cream Contour Palette. As I said in my previous videos that I always used to prefer cream products in winters. I am using a specific contour brush to apply it. I 
I am using cream highlighter from the same contour palette and applying on the areas where I want. Setting this cream highlighter with my favorite pressed powder highlighter from Makeup Revolution. Applying blush from Root Cosmetics Undaunted Blush Palette. This is Glamorous Kajal Eye Pencil. Applying it over lower lash line. Just to set. Blending this kajal with punch pink matte eyeshadow. Doing lip contour with YSL Lip Liner Pencil. This soft pencil is easy to use in winter. This is Maybelline Sensational Liquid Matte in shade 02 Soft Wine. It has high color payoff matte pencil. Applying smoothly on lips but little tacky after that. In the end I am showing you one more technique. This comes under baking. Applying RCML No Color Powder. Letting it sit for couple of seconds then I will dust it off. It will enhance your contour. It can be used for erasing contour mistakes. I am gonna be applying these locally bought falsies of the camera. It's all done. So here is the finished look. Please do let me know if you like my makeup videos. I was not feeling well lately. I had sore throat with fever. That's why I got late for uploading video. You will find list of all the products that I've used for this look in description box down below. Do take very good care of yourself. Stay healthy. Thanks for watching. Bye.